Okay, so we are done whelping. Sometimes you may have puppies, even when you think you're done, up to three and a half hours in between one batch and perhaps the last one or a couple more. But we didn't get that lucky this time. We only have four, which is a bummer. She had six her last two litters, but they're beautiful, they're healthy, so we're happy. So now is the time to clean her up a little bit. You're not going to get a bitch to go and leave her puppies for a full bath. She's just going to get too upset about that. So we kind of spot bathe for now. I'll show you how we do that. <clears throat> I'll get some paper towel, put it under to get most of it, and I'll move puppies up and out of the way so that they don't get wet. And then I like to use this kind of bottled water, and I've got one of those pads underneath that will catch the extra water. Okay, honey, let me get this. And I'll put this underneath it and wet it down. Not too much, just enough to do the job. She will clean herself up pretty good also. <sighs> I know, sweetheart. But you want to dry her off as much as possible. Don't leave it all wet for the babies. <clears throat> there. And when she's done, you offer her um, about a half a meal of what she would usually have of kibble. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit of wet food. As soon as she was done, I did give her... Uh, some plain white yogurt and some calcium okay this is oral cal plus it's a paste okay it's given by the mouth which makes it very easy And that helps, if she had had more pups, the calcium helps to get uh, things going again. Also, what you might want to have on hand is oxytocin <clears throat> that you can give in a shot form. Usually they'll look like this, fully loaded in a syringe. You must keep them in the dark and in the refrigerator. So I wrap them in a paper towel and keep them in the fridge. That is for if her whelping stalls and she needs some help to keep going it will improve um, the quality of the contractions and make them harder okay had I had a bleeder which is a puppy where the mom got too vigorous with uh, taking the umbilical cord down and <clears throat> or if it just got ripped to where it's bleeding too much you would get the dental floss put it in half and make a loop so you have double strands okay Put that over the umbilical cord and tighten it down. And then you'll make another wrap and tie it. So, tie it in a knot and then cut it off short so Mama doesn't see it and start bothering it. You've done good, Ziva. 
Okay, so she had her calcium and her yogurt right after the fourth puppy. Well, it was about two and a half hours later. I was hoping there was still a couple more in there. Uh, I wasn't sure enough to give her the oxytocin, uh, but I did give her the calcium in hopes that there were more. Um, but the calcium can always help, uh, just with the puppies anyway, so no harm, no foul. This is a good time to take one puppy at a time, put them on a light, comfortable surface and take pictures um, from the front and from the left side. That way you have newborn pictures to send me and for everyone else looking for a puppy out of that litter. Okay, so the whole process started about 7 o'clock last night uh, as far as the panting and the pre-labor discomfort for the bitch. Uh, a lot of times she wants to be in your lap. Um, she had her first puppy in my bed with me. That's why I like these pads with the plastic underside. Um, I barely closed my eyes. I probably slept for about 15 minutes and woke up to a little Mew Mew. And there was a the little red tribe boy. So that's why he wasn't videoed. So as soon as they have their first puppy, then you can put them in the whelping box and they're happy to stay in there. Um, also, the reason I like the pillowcases. Let me have this, sweetheart. Put that in the dirty clothes. Is that this pad had gotten, you know, wet from whelping. Um, and you don't want the puppies to be sitting in anything wet because that wet gets cold and it sucks the, the heat right out of the puppies' bodies. So then I layered the paper, or I'm sorry, the pillowcases on top of anything damp. Uh, so that when we're all done, I can take this whole layer out. I'll show you how we do that. First you put the babies over. Mama will follow. One, two, three. Where's the other one? Four. Okay, roll this. Okay, move over, sweetheart. One. One. That's my girl. And then take out any yuck. Then I have more pillowcases that I can pull out and add clean ones to. <laughs> She's not too happy about me moving to babies. Okay, we'll leave you be for now, honey. And you get some rest.